Hello, everybody. Um, when I was 18 years old, I was out on a night out, and a friend of mine broke down crying, and she told me that she had been attacked by her grandmother, by grandfather, 10 years previously. I grew up in Ireland where we didn't talk about sex, never mind abuse, never mind assault. As the years went by, I heard more and more stories like this from friends, colleagues, girlfriends. Stories about brothers, fathers, teachers, uncles. Stories of rape, abuse, assault, harassment, intimidation. I started to, to wonder what, what was going on in society that I didn't understand the complexity or why I didn't understand what was going on. I talked to a friend of mine about it and he said, maybe it's just the women that you know. I thought, how could that be? Because when I started to see the news, there was more and more reports about assaults taking place, more and more claims and appeals and demands for help by rape crisis centres and women's AIDS groups around domestic violence, around the low, disgraceful conviction rates and reporting rates. I paused when about seven years ago I noticed a report about a Kerry courtroom where a man had been convicted of rape, of dumping a woman beside a skip half conscious and half naked. He was caught on CCTV, found guilty and sentenced, and yet 50 men, older men, middle-aged men, queued up in the courtroom to shake his hand, including the parish priest. I paused to wonder what kind of society I lived in. I paused just a couple of weeks ago when I read a report of two women being hunted down in South Dublin by gangs of men in the middle of the day. I started to understand where he, my wife, my grandmother, my sister, my mother, why they have to think twice about their safety in a way that I don't have to think about it. I start to wonder why women aren't as visible in politics, in the media, in business, in technology, in sport, in religion. I start to wonder why, why women are paid less, why they earn, why women control only 1% of the world's wealth. Why they do the bulk of the childcare, the housework, why our constitution says that women's place is in the home, why we had the Magdalene laundries, why committees of men decided around contraception for women, why it took so long for women to be able to get educated, why it took so long for women to be able to vote, why it's still taken so long for women to have reproductive rights, why despite Anne Lovett, the Kerry babies, the X case, Savita, why are women still criminalised and brutalised in this country? I started to join the dots. I noticed that there was no women heroes in our place names, in our statues, in our history books. The goddesses have been disappeared and the god had come in. God was a man. The leader, the spiritual leaders are men. Women are confined to secondary roles subservient, suppressed, child brides, human trafficked, child, genital mutilation, no education, violent porn, submission, aggression, depression, social anxiety. It's a man's world, but it's really an elite man's world. A man who dominates because of his lust for power. The man who wants greed, who wants more and more power the man who rapes the earth, the earth that we once, in our time, in our culture, in one time held sacred. This is not to patronize men, because most men are good men, and men too have been abused. Men are struggling with suicide, men are wearing suits of armor that we need to let go of sometimes. And we need to understand our sexuality and our power and to help young men become good men and strong men and help young women become the women that they can be to realize their full potential. I think there's a Berlin Wall in gender that needs to come crushing down. And when it does, it will liberate not just women, but it will liberate men. The cracks in that wall are starting to appear. 
and I think we need to push it over. The time has come and it will build a better world for everybody.